Motorola Droid Turbo guys uh, this is the phone with the biggest battery right now on any phone 3900 milliamp uh, this is gonna be a full review and let's go ahead and take a look here at the phone first talk all the specs so we have on the rear a 21 megapixel rear camera with dual flash this phone can shoot the video in a 4k resolution also slow motion uh, here on the front we have a 2 megapixel front facing camera that can also shoot video in uh, 1080p as far as the screen size uh, we're looking at a 5.2 inches screen size uh, one of the main attractions of this phone is the screen resolution we're looking at a 2k quad hd display uh, this is over um, 500 ppi or pixel density and let's go ahead and uh, turn the brightness all the way up uh, Android KitKat probably it's going to be upgraded to uh, Lollipop soon as far as the processor 2.7 GHz quad core processor 3 GB of RAM and like I mentioned it, the biggest battery on any phone right now 3900 milliamp battery and as you guys can see here, here is the power button, volume rocket right there. As far as the design, it's uh, not the thinnest phone available, but not the thickest. Uh, it's somewhat a uh, thin profile. We see a 3.5mm audio jack on top, USB port at the bottom. Uh, on this side we don't have anything, and one of the things that the phone offers is uh, the turbo charge technology. Uh, Motorola claims that you can uh, charge uh, this phone for 50 minutes uh, and uh, still get 8 hours of usage we see two little microphones right there the Droid logo uh, let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, interface but before that another thing about this phone is that it has a couple of sensors here on on the, uh, the bottom one I believe on the top of the phone so when you swipe your hand over it's gonna wake up the screen and it's gonna show you notifications and all that. And let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. Right, so, looking at the interface, we have this uh, main screen right here with this uh, really cool widget. If you tap in the middle, it's gonna give you access to the alarm. If you tap on the top, you're gonna get access to the weather. And if you tap the bottom, you're gonna get access to battery information. Also, if we tap right here, that's going to expand this. And it's gonna give you access to the weather right here and access to the calendar. Uh, if we go to this way, we get access to another screen. One more screen right there. Here's the access to the app drawer. And if you tap right here, you're gonna get access to the recent application. You can just swipe your finger to close the applications. Uh, let's talk about the camera. Uh, 21 megapixel rear camera. A couple of ways uh, to access the camera of course we can go ahead and unlock the phone and click on the uh, camera icon but also you can go ahead and check the phone and that's gonna go ahead and open the camera uh, even if, it's, if the screen is off you can still go ahead and check the phone and still get access to the camera as far as the interface uh, this is one of the uh, easiest and most uh, simple interfaces uh, we get right here access to the uh, front facing camera uh, right here we get access to video recording you can tap to take pictures uh, while you are recording pause the video continue the recording and then stop the video uh, to take picture just uh, tap on the screen and then get, to get access to the picture we're going to swipe from the right to the left and there's the access to the picture back to the camera and then if we swipe from the left we're gonna get access to the uh, camera settings we get hdr flash this one right here is gonna let you uh, to control the uh, the focus and as you guys can see you can drag the focus all the way around the screen and tap to take pictures also the next one is a video you get access to the 1080p video uh, slow motion and ultra HD or 4k and uh, the next one is uh, the panorama mode you also get to control the location you can do widescreen or standard 
and the next one is the shutter sound you can turn that off and the last one is uh, the option to uh, be able to turn on and off uh, the option to check the phone in order to open the camera uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look now at the performance uh, playing some high so graphics the game motor combat 5 pay attention to the speaker i turned that all the way up Google search navigate to McDonald's head east on Capitol Avenue toward Indian Hills Drive and as you guys can see because of the uh, quad HD display I mean the map looks super super nice and we can do satellite mode do a test call here to show you guys uh, the quality and also turn on the speakerphone I'm calling customer service now the volume is all the way up Welcome to Verizon Wireless. the speaker is all the way here let's look at the uh, Google Chrome and let's go ahead and start with some search walmart.com And uh, we are connected to the Wi-Fi. It's opening pages uh, pretty quick. Yahoo.com. And there you have it. That's a look at the uh, Google Chrome. And let's go ahead and open some article here. And let's go ahead and do zoom in and zoom out. Very responsive when it comes to the zoom in and zoom out. And as you guys can see, the letter looks uh, super clear because of the quad HD display. All right, guys, another cool thing here about the uh, Motorola it's uh, the assistant application, which is called Moto. And as you guys can see, you can go ahead and customize this here. But let me go ahead and show you first how uh, the phrase. I'm going to turn off the screen here. Okay, Droid Turbo. What time it is? The time is 9.59 p.m. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and ask a couple more questions and turn off the screen. Okay, Droid Turbo. Navigate to McDonald's. the one you want. And there you and have it guys. On Comstock Avenue towards South 30s. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual application and the settings. Here's the access to the settings and here's the assistant actions voice and display. Uh, under assistant uh, you get access to sleeping, driving, home and meeting. Uh, you can customize these uh, depending on your needs. So, for example, sleeping, uh, it will keep the screen off. Uh, it will keep the phone in silence. You can also go ahead and set up the time for sleep. So, if you click right here, uh, I don't know, let's say you go to bed at uh, 11 p.m. and you wake up at 6 a.m. So, that's the time right there that you can set up. So uh, basically when it gets uh, 11 p.m. your phone is going to go into the sleep mode and as I show you uh, you can silence the phone you can keep the screen off. As far as the driving these are a couple of options here. Uh, the phone will talk to you by reading text messages and tell you who's calling. Uh, it can play music over Bluetooth or the headphone jack. You get a couple more options. Uh, there is home. There is a meeting too. Uh, under meeting, you can silence the phone or do auto reply uh, to uh, missed calls from your favorite tone. So that's the assistant. The voice, 
uh, you can launch the phrase as I already showed you. You can customize the phrase. If you click right here, manage launch, launch uh, phrase, you can go ahead, go ahead and change the phrase for whatever you want. Um, you can speak a, a pin to unlock the phone commands while the phone is uh, locked. As, uh, as far as the actions, you can wave your hand over the phone to silence the phone if it's ringing or beeping. Uh, tweet for quick capture. You can twist the phone, check the phone to access the camera. And approach for motor display, reach your device to trigger motor display. Uh, the next one is a display. And as you guys can see, you can customize this right here. And this is going to show you the notification. You can decide what notifications are showing on the screen. And as you guys can see here, uh, it gives you more privacy, vibrate on touch. You can select the apps, as I already showed you, that are going to be showing on your notifications on the main screen. And then there, here are some settings. So that's as far as the assistant and the uh, OK Droid Turbo. Alright guys, another cool application that they offer here is the SAP Activity or SAP application. Uh, this is going to let you share pictures or videos with other people that have the same SAP application. Uh, you don't need to have a Motorola phone in order to do that. As a matter of fact, uh, here on the Moto X, I already downloaded that application. And I also downloaded it here on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, but the way it works, uh, basically, it's uh, just uh, click on the plus right there. Uh, you can sub a photo, sub a video, or sub from your gallery. So if we go to the gallery, click right there, and click on any picture, you're gonna you're gonna click right there, and that's gonna send the picture to the through the sub application, and uh, it's gonna give you two minutes uh, for other people to catch the photo and download it on their phone in order to download the picture. Uh, basically all they have to do is uh, go ahead and swipe down with two fingers like that and that's gonna try to catch the picture and download it on their phone for some reason it's not working I don't know why you know I tried to do it earlier and it wasn't working but that that's how the application uh, works uh, I guess it's uh, kind of cool you know to be able to share photos and pictures um, without necessarily sending them, sending them by a text message. And guys, uh, last but not least, uh, just a quick look here at the battery usage today. I mean, I haven't been, been using the phone a lot, but just to give you guys here an idea, uh, I have a 82% battery remaining there. And uh, this is after 11 hours and three minutes. Uh, the screen time, it's uh, one hour and 14 minutes. Not too bad. So, uh, you know, plenty of battery with this phone with the whopping uh, 3,900 milliamp battery. Now, when it comes to editing pictures and filters, uh, within the camera app, the phone doesn't really offer options, but after you take a picture, if you tap on the picture, you're gonna click right there, and uh, that's gonna give you option to do different editing. So you can uh, change uh, here using different filters, and uh, the next one is uh, frames. You can add different frames. At the next one, you can crop, strain it, rotate, mirror. You can draw on the picture. At the next one, you can do auto color exposure. Uh, you can change uh, different things here. So those are filters and settings to edit pictures after you take it. Now let's uh, take a look also at this uh, option to create movies. So if you access the gallery and select uh, multiple pictures uh, and videos, you can combine uh, pictures and videos. You can tap right there. And this is going to take you to the movie editor. And as you guys can see, it comes with the preloaded music. Uh, you can go ahead and change the title right there. And then if we click right there on their more options, this is going to give you the option to uh, include more videos or pictures. As you can see, less or more. Uh, if you click right here, this is going to give you access to the gallery to add more. If you click right there, this is going to give you access to change the music in the background. Or we can go ahead and save and highlight. 
After you click on save, you can change the title and you can change the quality. So we're gonna do high definition, click on save. And as you guys can see, it's saving the project right now. So it's uh, you already finished saving the project. So let's go ahead and play the movie. After this point, you can go ahead and share it on uh, put it on a social media or on YouTube. And here's uh, the title. So there you have it guys, how you can create movies or slideshows with the Droid Turbo. So let's do a quick demonstration here on the notifications on the screen. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see or not, there is like a light flashing uh, on both uh, corners. Those are the sensor guys, uh, the motion sensors. So if I swipe my hand over, we're going to see the notifications. As you guys can see, I have a text message, an email, and a phone call. So if I hard press, uh, that's going to give me access to, or it's going to show me uh, the uh, message. It's going to show me an email. And then from this point, you know, I can go ahead and uh, select where do I want to go. Uh, I can go ahead and uh, unlock and access the email. I still have the text message and the phone call there. Let's turn off the screen and do it again. And here's uh, the text message and the missed call. And let's go ahead and do a test call quick just to show you guys uh, the interface when it's getting a, a phone call. I can go ahead and reject the call answer or answer with a text message. All right, guys, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more. Again, this was a review of the new Droid Turbo with Verizon Wireless. Amazing performance, great battery life, 21 megapixel rear camera. I'll see you in the next one, guys.